Hi and welcome to New Root Studios. I'm Nick, your host. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put on your Elvis wig. Uh, you're going to need a few things that we typically do not supply. A blow dryer. A couple of hair clips will come in handy, although they may not be necessary. A pair of scissors. Some alcohol to clean your scissors with because they can get a little bit tacky uh, from cutting the tape. And your handy trusty brush. So this is our Elvis wig. I've washed it. It doesn't have to be washed. It could already be styled. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slip it on. So I'll put the camera here to the mirror. And I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to push the outer edges out a little bit so it slips on my head nice and easy. That's an interesting look, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Wolf Boy. Now you're going to slowly start adjusting this hair. And like I said, three to four fingers away from the hairline. Oh, and I got my hair a little messy underneath. So you're going to take your handy, trusty water bottle. You're going to wet some of that nice hair of yours. You're going to comb it back out of the way and even dry it. Throw a little hairspray in there for good measure. This way it keeps everything back and out of your way. And your own hair is not going to fall forward. Once the hairspray is in, again, you can give it another shot. Make sure that hairspray is dry. All right, now we're going to go back to slipping our wig on. Again, we're going to fold it out, grab it, and simply, oh, simply slip it on. Pretty easy. All right, we're going to make sure that these two temples are even. There are three clips at the back of your wig here. The clips open and close by pushing in the center and the snapping on the two edges. So these clips are going to actually go into your hair here, and you're going to snap them in place. Okay. All right, so now you have your wig in place. You're going to take your bag of tape. You're going to peel this side of the tape off. Fold it in half. Peel off the two sides. And rest it on the table. Now the tape's kind of sticky, so grab it from the edges. And again, it's sticky. It's going to take you a couple of tries to get used to working with it. Now you're just going to flip this side up. Okay, you can see where the hair is here. You can also use a clip to hold it in place. Okay, or it'll stay there by itself most of the time. You want to make sure that the lace is dry before you stick any adhesive or tape onto the lace because nothing will stick to a wet surface. So again, I'm just going to dry the lace. We're going to take the tape that we just uh, peel the backing off and then following where the hair is, we're just going to stick it right onto the, right onto the material here. I'm going to peel the backing off. You can grab it from both sides. Make sure it's stuck on there nice and peel the backing off of that. There's the tape. We're going to bring this side down. And that is now stuck in place, my friends. Now we're going to go to the other side. You're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the backing off of your tape. Put that down. You're going to lift up this other side now. Okay, you want to get it nice and smooth. Make sure that the lace isn't uh, folded over when you put your tape on there. And again, it may take you a couple of, 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 of tries. There you go. Now you're going to take this tape. And again, you can clearly see where the hair is inserted. Okay. I'm going to run that like that. I'm going to push that in place. You can even push it on the other side as well. Peel off the blue backing. And now we're just going to add a little bit of tension to make sure that it's it's as nice and smooth along our forehead as possible. 
Okay, try not to have any facial expressions on as you're putting it down, because if you're doing this or this, when you when the tape's released, it's going to react. Okay. That's it. You can basically do whatever you want now. You can do your show and, and away you go. Now, I like to style it sometimes while it's on my head. And again, now that the hair's here, you can dry it into place. Dry it. And style it up the way you like. Try not to have the dryer on the forceful heat. Just nice and easy. Any adjustments that need to be made, you can. And now we're going to apply the sideburns. All right, so now we're going to take our sideburns out of our bag. We're going to flip them so that the non-hair side is on the inside. Your sideburns can also be trimmed here on the bottom to customize the sizing for you. Typically, the best way to do that is to create a template on the side of your face. Using a piece of paper or some cardboard, you can draw the sideburn out. Cut it. Always measure twice and cut once. Put the sideboard in place. Make sure that the size and everything is going to be great for the face. Superimpose the sideburn on top of your current sideburn. Using a lip liner, a china marker, Anything that's erasable, create a line. And then using a straight razor that you can buy in most barber shops or um, drug stores, you're going to just gently cut that line and your sideburn is going to be resized. So now we're going to apply the sideburn to our face. <clears throat> Again, we're going to take our tape. Take our trusty scissors, we're going to cut that tape in half. And the same technique that we used for the wig, we're going to peel the backing off. Again, always remember the tape's super sticky, so don't grab it hard with your fingers. Work with it as gently, just barely touching it as possible. And now we're going to apply our tape to the sideburn. We're going to peel off each piece as we're applying it. Now, the amount of tape that you need really depends on, you know, how long is your show going to be? What are the lights like? You know, typically this may be plenty. Again, if you want to go the extra mile, you can take another piece of your tape, cut it, and apply that to the other side. Peel off the backing. And continue on like that. All right. So now that that's done, we're going to just lift up the side of the wig here. 
we're going to apply our sideburn. We're going to just make sure that everything is looking and lining up the way we want. And then we're going to put the, the hair on top. Now, again, here at the very, very bottom, we can either cut or gel the sideburn so that it has the right height for our face. And you're pretty much done. You do the same thing on the other side and you're ready to rock and roll. This will stay in place for, you know, the, the whole day. All right, so now we showed you the application and we're gonna show you the removal. The removal is super important and what you do with the wig after. Don't throw it in your bag after your show. Put it on a mannequin head. Shipping these are extremely expensive and they're typically maybe $10, $15 in your area. They cost about $80 to ship because they're so big. So pick one of these up or roll up a nice towel, put it inside of the wig and make sure that you're putting the net and you're putting it back in the box so it lasts you for years. So this is your adhesive remover, okay? I'm just gonna unscrew the top. You're gonna have a towel with you. If it's the first few times you're using it, in case you press too hard and there's a drip, you just wanna catch it. So starting here on the side, you're just gonna apply the solvent through the wig. It's gonna wet the tape underneath and this is gonna come off. The tape, if done properly, should be stuck on your face, which you'll just peel off. And right away, take your sideburns. Again, these are expensive and they take a long time to make, so we're gonna fold them up and put them right inside of our bag. And so they're perfect for the next use. Again, too many people have just thrown these in their bag and it doesn't take much for them to get ruined. They're a fine piece of lace with uh, hair uh, sewn into it. And again, you're gonna do the same thing here on the side. You're gonna wet the adhesive underneath. And depending on how long you've been on stage, the adhesive may need 30 seconds to a minute to release. Don't force it off, okay? Um, do the same to the other side. Take this side off. All right, so we're gonna undo the clips here at the back. So again, press in the center, it undoes the clips. And now we're gonna take the rest of the wig off, remove any adhesive from our head, inspect the wig. If there's anything left on there, you're gonna take it off. And then right away, you're gonna put your wig on the mannequin head, stick a pen or two inside to hold it in place, cover it with the net, and then either put it in a wig box or somewhere nice and safe where it's not gonna gather a ton of dust and it'll be ready for your next performance. If you guys have any questions or there's anything I've left out of this video that you'd like to see, please send us an email at newroots at rogers.com and we'll get to uh, answering those questions right away. Thank you so much. Nick from Your Roots signing off. Bye-bye.